This is what I cooked and ate on a fairly relaxed workday. Lunch was an experiment that kind of failed, and dinner was one of my current favorite 20-minute meals, along with a bunch of snacks along the way. Let's go. The day starts at 7 a.m., and I contemplate getting out of bed because it's still dark out, so I decided to read The Fires of Heaven, which is the fifth book in the Wheel of Time series. At 7.40 a.m., I throw on some socks and shoes and go for a morning walk, something I've really been enjoying lately. When I get back, I boosted up a 10-minute stretch video on YouTube before going through a little scroll on my laptop. Now, at 8.30, I finally decide it's time to get some work done, which is basically tying up some loose ends. Today, I've got to finish a thumbnail, finalize an edit, and also script out a scrambled eggs video. So after a couple hours, the thumbnail is done, and I also set the camera up to film one last clip and then threw that in and exported the video. And finally, at 10.30 a.m., it's time for a break. I decided to grab a couple of Altoids and then head to the gym for a quick 35-minute lifting session. Then when I got back, my parents had sent some pickles, so I decided to try one pretty solid. At 11.45 a.m., I did a little bit more work and then snuck in like three games of Rocket League. Now, finally for lunch, I decided to grab some beef jerky to snack on. Then I also experimented with a pasta recipe based on a carbonara, and I might be doing a video on this, but the basic idea is to create a carbonara-like pasta that's around 600 calories and is fairly high in protein. It also can be made in one pot and is perfect to throw leftovers in. So to start, I pour some water in the wok and add a pinch of salt to bring that to a boil and then just cook that pasta. Then while that's going, I chopped up some leftover veggies I had, so a red bell pepper, some onion, smashed a couple cloves of garlic, and then some parsley that I realized just now I actually forgot to use. I also grated 28 grams of Parmigiano Reggiano before cracking in two whole eggs. Now, this is way too much egg for the 1.5 servings of dried pasta that I use, and this is kind of the part that I needed to dial in and experiment with. I would recommend just using a single egg here. Then lastly, I grated up a little prosciutto my dad sent me and added that to 10 grams of olive oil. Now, once the pasta was done cooking, I poured that off into a bowl with a little bit of the liquid, then back into the wok, I added the oil and the prosciutto and tossed in the veggies and just let everything saute for a couple of minutes. Then the pasta with some of the water goes back into the wok and just give everything a stir, and I also found some wilty arugula in the fridge, so I threw that in as well. Now, you could toss this in the bowl and call it a meal here, but since I did want to try to make it a little bit higher protein and more filling, I did decide to add that egg and parm mixture, which again, like I said, ended up being way too much because there wasn't enough heat from the pasta to help that egg actually thicken and coagulate. So to attempt to save it, I tossed in a little cornstarch and threw it in the microwave to heat everything up, then stirred it to thicken. Again, just definitely too much egg, but all in all, it's still an edible pasta. It's all part of the learning process. Now this clocked in at 630 calories and 30 grams of protein and ended up being pretty solid. After my lunch, I also plated up some of the weeknight short ribs that my brother missed out on because he was away. Then I decided to lounge around for about 20 minutes. And then finally at 1.45 p.m., I decided to pack up and head to a coffee shop to enjoy a nice coffee and finish my last main task of the day, which is finish the research and shot list for my scrambled egg video. At around 4.30 p.m., I got home and decided to grab an apple and a carrot to snack on. And then while watching the first Harry Potter, I break down a watermelon into cubes to have them for the rest of the week. One of my all-time favorite snacks to have on hand. And I also just snacked on some after I was done cutting it up. At 6 p.m., I oversee some of the footage my brother is organizing for a different video, then decided to go on another walk to test out the handheld footage with this camera. And when I got back from that, I kind of just did a lazy scroll for a little while. At 7 p.m., it's time for one of my current favorite weeknight dinners, which I believe is pronounced tukboki, and it's this Korean dish, and it's basically rice cakes, which are like almost chewy noodles with a spicy and sweet sauce. It's all-time great. You can find it on Amazon or at your local Asian market. We'll probably have it too but I like to doctor mine up with plenty of fresh additions. So to start, I chopped up some asparagus into pieces, then I smashed a couple of cloves of garlic and also sliced up some scallion. Then set a pan over medium high heat and add a half pound of 85-15 beef along with a nice pinch of salt, a pinch of MSG, and a sprinkle of red chili flake before just mashing that into nice little pebbles. Once that was cooked through, I gave that a thorough squirt of sriracha, mix it up and just set that aside in a bowl. Now, back in the same pan, add a drizzle of oil, and then toss in some asparagus to saute for a minute or two, and then once that's done, set it aside. Now, turn the heat down to medium and just follow the instructions on the package. So add 300 grams of water along with the vegetable mix and the soup base and just stir everything together. Now, once that starts to simmer, add the rice cakes to the mix and set a timer for five minutes. And this is gonna cook the rice cake, making them chewy, and the sauce will also begin to thicken. 
Once that's ready, just pour in the beef and the asparagus and stir everything together until it is evenly sauced. And this sauce is actually insane. It's just like the perfect level of spiciness. To serve, spoon it out on a plate, and I like to add a sprinkle of sesame seeds and some fresh scallions as the garnish. And this makes two big servings, and one plate clocks in at 782 calories and 34 grams of protein. And watching this just really wants me to make it again tonight. Truly, you've got to pick some of this stuff up to have in your pantry to make at a moment's notice. After dinner, I tried my hand at some Apex Legends for a while. Then at 8.30 p.m., I wrapped up my eating with a serving of Greek yogurt and some frozen blueberries, and also one of these no-bake cookie bars that I've really been enjoying lately. All in all, it's been a fairly relaxed day. My total calories for the day were 2,083 with 116 grams of protein. I highly recommend trying out some of these dishes on your own, but that's gonna wrap it up for me. Peace, y'all.